Hi guys, I'm here and I'm back for another video on the screen. My forward story for the second half of February 2023. So we have a decent amount of cards this month. Actually, these are a lot. I actually took a few cards from the last piles just so it'll be with the other cards from that set for the next video. So yeah. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that much girl group stuff. I think the only girl group stuff were in these three small piles, the rest are like boy groups. So yeah, um, if last month was very girl group heavy, this month is not girl group heavy at all. So yeah, um, let's start with the first binder, which is as you can see, EXO. So for EXO, we only have these three cards. We have two Soho album cards and one um, Kyungsu merch card. So no group stuff right now, but I did buy the last Soho card that I need, I think, for Tempo. So. Yeah, hopefully that arrives soon, but yeah, we have this, yeah, finishing self-portrait now, just because I don't really collect keynotes for EXO. I'm only gonna collect if there's keynotes for Shomin or um, Dio, but since I don't have keynotes, then I'm fine with these. So yeah, we're finished. The self-portrait cards. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. And then, this one, we're gonna be finishing the digipack cards for gray suit so yeah i'm just waiting for my um copy from mishima it finally arrived in my um, indonesian proxy um so yeah when i get that i'll check the poll and then i'll see if i still need to buy like like what card i still need to buy so yeah um lastly as for the merch stuff honestly I don't know where I put this, to be honest. Oh, here. So, I'm kind of confused with this one, but I think I'm gonna be buying the birthday cards for all of like my buys. It's really the people that I collect, since they're kind of like spread out, and I kind of want to collect all of like the um, cards from that one. So, yeah, putting Kyungsoo here as the first one since his birthday was January. So, the back is the red and blue one. Then, here is his birthday card. Yeah, it's the generic one for January. So I'm storing this one as well just because I want to see what it looks like together with the other members. I don't have the mem their birthdays um, memorized, but um, I did do have like, you know, um, something on my notes app just to check which ones are coming up. So yeah, I think here, yeah. Oh, this is for, yeah, here. For the meantime, I'm putting this here since this is the January one. So as the months go by and like the members celebrate their birthdays, I'll put them in chronological order. Order, since these don't really show who's member is like celebrating their birthday. So that is actually it for this EXO binder. Let's move on to the next one, which is the um, old SM binder. So for the old SM binder, we have these. So it's just the anniversary cards for TVXQ. And then I got this Raiden card from a purchase. Yeah. Um, you know how people bundle up SMT cards, especially the DJs. Yeah, I got that. And you know, I'm I won't be able to trade this or like sell this, so might as well just keep it in my binder. I do have like kind of like a Raiden collection now. <laughs> but yeah, um first I think um yeah, here is the slowly growing Raiden collection. I would be fine like getting the other DJs and then putting them in like a page or something in this binder. And then this one is outdated since I didn't set up for the collect book, but yeah. So I have like three cards here. And then this one. Yeah. I forgot what I did. I think I did put the fan. Or like the fan color one first and then remember you know signature pose. <laughs> then he has the speaker. I think Yunho is the oldest person that I collect. It's either him or Boa. So yeah, um, that's actually it for this binder. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Gilles Generation binder. So for the Gilles Generation binder, for this binder, we only have two cards and then the others are in the Fortune Scratch. So those will go to the other binder. So yeah, we have Tang Sik here. Um, yeah, um, I, this is my third time buying the... Membership version of SMCU, and I've 
pulled, finally pulled the yarns because trading the yarn for yarn is kind of hard since everyone just wants the yarn. So yeah, um, yeah here. But the thing is, I bought three of this or like three of the membership version and I always pulled this card. Like why can I just get the yarn? So yeah, I finally found or I finally pulled like something that doesn't have like a mark or like a damage. So. Hopefully I'll be able to try that for you on. So yeah. finally we're done with this. So I need to get her 2021 one or the SFU Express one. Then we have a Jessica Hart. It's hard to find Jessica Hearts, but at least like there's progress for this. So I'm really happy about that. This is uh my decade card, so this goes on the third page. Honestly, I don't know where I put it. Like where I I guess I'll put this in the middle. I don't really remember that much about like the My Decade cards. Okay, I'll put that there since it kind of go. Well, not really, but you know, it's kind of similar vibes. So yeah, that is actually it for this binder. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next one, which is the non-album binder for Transformation. So for this binder, we're making progress with the Fortune Scratch Card sets. Oh, I think I put this wrong way, but yeah, um, let's go to the concert page, my long lasting love. We're still getting there, I finally got my last 5 packs of fortune scratch cards and I only pulled these from the ones that I needed, so yeah, I'm so young, the movie star card. Just need the ones, I know where to get it. I just don't know if I should like get it or try to trade for it since I did pull a lot of like Theon's cards. And then I have Sunny. I'm just like, um, I have this really bad habit of not posting feedbacks when I intend to. So it's just like, I have so, so much backlog now and my thing is like, unless I post those feedbacks, I won't be able to post trading stuff. So yeah, I need to like do that. So yeah, starting tomorrow, I guess. Then we have Sohyun, which kind of annoys me since it doesn't fit like the color scheme of the others like Tiffany's was kind of like a stretch but I guess it's off in here I can't really do anything about it but yeah I finally finished the fortune cards fortune scratch cards for long lasting love yeah so should I make it like all warm tone I don't really know to be honest but yeah I decide on like my own time but yeah that's actually it for the graduation collection so on the next one which is the um, a pink and omega binder. So I decided to reorganize my girl group binder. So I put this by debut date, I guess. So for this binder, we have a pink and omega, which are kind of like bigger um, collections than the rest of my girl group collections, like Chonga, Twice, um, Luna, Belly, are all on the other ones. And then I put um, After School, Kara and Lovelies, and like kind of like a retired binder, since I don't see any progress for that anytime soon. So yeah, um, for the Omega collection, we have these. So I bought these from uh, one of like my OG friends here on YouTube, um, Zafer 7 love I think that's how I pronounce her username. But yeah, um, she's a big um, elf um, collector. Um, she was like one of like the bigger, I guess, K-pop YouTubers back then, like the collection ones. I don't know if she still watches my videos or something. But yeah, thank you so much for sending these to me. Um, these were kind of hard to find, especially this banana card. So yeah, um, I'm just really glad I stumbled upon her video of her like selling her cards. So yeah, um, yeah. I think we're starting with Secret Garden. So this is the Angel Wing card for Benny. Are you bit? Yeah, it seems like from that period of YouTubers, I guess, K-pop YouTubers, there's only like a few of us left still uploading, I guess. Or like still like doing regular stuff. I know one hit is like one of like the OGs as well. I guess from like the starting from wait, which is this banana energy monkey three. Yeah, I guess like yeah, she's the only one that I actually remember. Like one hit as like the other one who's still uploading. Of course, like her channel is like really big now, and I'm still like. Um, just like you know, normal size channel. 
but yeah, um, yeah, I kind of wish a lot of like the second slash early third gen um, YouTubers are still posting. Yeah, but it's it's fine now since a lot of people are in this community. So yeah, it, it's it's great honestly. I, I don't like. I thought that you know me watching forward storing videos for like um regularly um would like lead me to like you know running out of stuff to watch but you know there's just so much of those videos now that you know it's it's great that you know there's always one thing or one new thing that you can see like one person's collection that you can um watch grow on the internet so yeah we have some fifth season cards so we have the concept and then the angel how many cards are there in fifth season oh yeah so I'm done with Brini's fifth season set, I think. Yeah, that is great. And then these ones, just brought from the wholesaler. Really love, I think there's a floral version one. I'm not sure. Yeah, really love floral heart. Then this is a pop, I think, from Soundwave. Not really sure where, but yeah. So, you know, it fit the floral concept, although it's not gonna be with like the ones that it goes with. Oh my god, that's so many cards, but they haven't made a comeback in like so long. I think they made a comeback at the same time as NCT Dream last year. So hopefully we'll get like an announcement soon because that is slowly um, coming up like the anniversary of Real Love. So yeah, I think this is Fruity Far and then this is the Fruity Saga. Yeah, I talked so much in this segment but yeah that is actually it for this um, collection. So yeah um, I'm really glad that I have like you know a sizable progress for this one since this barely gets touched but yeah hopefully i'll get you know i'll keep this momentum going <laughs> yeah, that is actually it let's move on to the next one which is the sm girls binder so for the sm girls binder we have this stack this is the last of the girl group cards so if you're not into girl groups or like i mean if you're not into boy group cards this is gonna be the last part of the video you're gonna be interested in but yeah i finally received my last well not my last um my birthday cake version so yeah it's really exciting um i had like a whirlwind of emotions since i did buy like extra copies of the birthday or like the cake versions so i thought that you know um it's easier to resell um i read the Sogi's versions so i thought you know i should just like get those ahead and i pulled joy and wendy and then when i received my like set that i bought from like a trusted geo for like group order um I opened the members that I didn't have, or like I like yeah, I opened the members that I haven't opened yet. Does that make sense? So, um, Wendy, Joy, and Yeri. So, I started I think with Yeri, and I pulled. Um, oh no no, I started with Wendy. I pulled a. Um. I think Irene. Irene I think was my first pull, and then I pulled Sogi from Joyce. Um, copy and then I pulled another Irene for Yeti's copy. So I said, you know, um, it's better to, since I have like an Irene extra or like duplicate, um, I should open Irene's version just to check if there is a Yeti one since I don't want to trade anymore since I do have like the stuff to like maybe complete the set and then I pulled Yeti. So that is great. And then I didn't know that my copies would be ordered from k for you. So I got um, Wendy and Joy. So now I'm the dilemma if I should just like you know complete the set since I have two of the hearts already. Yeah we have Irene. Yeah so this is this is where the K Town for you cards are gonna go and then since I love the unboxing event cards um it'll go there. So yeah I think yeah I did buy an OT5 set for that one and for Sulgi do like how this is like the same outfit and then the fluffy set and then for Wendy, we have her K-Town card. I don't like the backs of the K-Towns. K-Town card since it's so small. And then for Joy, we have this one as well. 
Now we have Banks here. Actually, this one is the only one that is kind of different. I forgot what her unboxing event card looks like. But yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I know that they were like wearing crowns and stuff there, so I'm really excited about that. Then we have the cake version for Yeti, which is really fun since it does go here. I mean, go with this one and this one goes with this one as well. So yeah, really exciting. And then I did buy like an extra copy of the membership version of um, the SNCU Palace album. I pulled Joy. I put the Joy set actually. So yeah. I think I'm just gonna be buying um, more copies of that one since they're fairly um, affordable, I guess. Even um, when buying through um, local sellers, or I mean, like on Shopee. So yeah, either that or I'm gonna buy a bunch of those from Korea and then since they're really light um, it wouldn't really cost that much to like ship them to the Philippines using my Korean proxy so yeah and then we have Joy's ID card or membership card then that is actually it for the velvet we don't have any bigger inclusions to want to ESPA yeah I think I'm just gonna be buying these Polaroids so I won't have to like open any more albums now for Espa, we're finishing the album collection. So yeah, I have Giselle's, um, Lenticular, then Ning Ning. So yeah, so aside from SMTU stuff, I'm done with um, Savage and um, Girls. So yeah, I saw their concert through Beyond Live, obviously. Um, and it was really fun. I can't wait for the next album. All of the songs that were um, performed were so good. I really love the um, lighter songs like YOLO and Hot Air Balloons. And also, like, I do love the um, solo stage as well. My favorites was um, Ning Ning. And then, obviously, like, you know, Sweet and Salty and Thirsty were really good. I forgot the other titles of the songs, but honestly, it was a really solid concert. I was kind of, um, the honest. I was kind of shocked that the venue looked a bit small, though, especially for, like, someone as popular as Espo. But I guess since they did two days, then it was fine. But yeah, hopefully they get to perform in a bigger venue um, next time. And hopefully they visit the Philippines because honestly, I would love to see them live. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah, have this one. So called Karina. It's a really pretty card. I really love that she took um, photos and like the Christmas trees and stuff. And Paul Giselle's eye. Yeah, and then the last one is the missing holo for life's too short. So yeah, they they do have like a holo for the concert, and I did buy that I think, I think, or I, th I don't think it's up for sale yet. I'm not sure, but I'll check later. But I'll be getting that one. And then this is the postcard that it comes with. I bought this from Mercado Japan for like cheaper than the ones that are in eBay. So yeah, since. When I was buying from Great Music CD, um, this wasn't on stock. But then, when I checked like a few days later, it was on stock again. So, yeah, I was kind of annoyed, but at the same time, it's fine. I was able to buy it for cheaper if we, if I'm buying this alone with shipping. So yeah, um, that's actually it for the SM Group binder. Let's move on to the next binder, which is the boy group binder or like the seventeen binder. <laughs> so um, this binder now only houses. 17 and on and off. Um, I bought um, the UNA4 and the Agent Yoke collection in the kind of like retired and active binder. Since I still don't know what I'm gonna do with Agent Yoke, if I'm gonna still, still keep on collecting him or not, and the UNA4 obviously. Um, Jin Young hasn't released any music since he left the group, or at least like not any like physical album, so I can't really add anything. I think I'll be buying the Origin album. But that's not my top priority right now. I'll buy it when I see like a good one. I think I'm gonna be buying a Gong Chan cover. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna be collecting all of the cards. I'm just gonna be keeping my pulse for that. Just in case. Or like, if ever. So yeah, I did do some DK forward shopping. Not a lot, but I just um, tried for like you know, the cheapest ones that I can get. I got the Poet card. Oh shit, did I? Oh no! I thought I bought a dupe. 
Oh well, that's the one thing that to trade, I guess. Yeah, I didn't. I thought I had the other one. Oh well. But yeah, then we have from. What is this? Ataka? Yeah. Got the 72 card. Yeah, here. That's a bummer though. I don't like buying duplicate cards. It's, it's one of the, the first times that I bought a duplicate card. So yeah. Kind of annoying. But do it and then we have the Faces on card. I don't have this, right? Yeah, head. Ray, head. And then, uh, for Busoksun, I'm designed to collect. 43 since they are my current top 3. I'm so sorry, Coop, since been demoted to 4. But yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I have like a very wild Hoshi look. So these are my photo book cards, and then this is the Weavers pop that I got. And then this is my Weavers album card. And this one I got for free for buying like a DK card. Then this one I got with the Weavers album. I didn't even know that. The Weavers albums have pops, but yeah, apparently they have the Sinara one. So, yeah, so I don't know where to put that to be honest. But yeah, we're putting. I'm doing H order since technically if you look at it if you look at it from the back. Okay, since they do have like the Busok at the back. Then I'll spell out Busok soon. So yeah. Then the Weavers one. This goes here. And this one. Yeah, I kind of like want this to be on top, I think, yeah. Then since we get like the full set anyway for the Kino, I bought the Kino. Um, kind of like annoying the and then I wasn't able to cancel it since it was from like a group order. So yeah, I just paid for it. <laughs> and, yeah, and luckily we got the whole set, so it's fine. Oh wait, no, this isn't just 17. This is this has NCT, what the heck? And are, these are the last two. 17 cards. So Yeah, I don't know why I removed this because it's gonna be for the Kino and the special version. So I should just have an extra DK page, but for now, I'm putting these here. Yeah. I don't know. For the meantime, yeah, I'll figure out like a way. Since I don't really need these cards, but I don't want to like sell them since they're DK and I have them already. This is a trading card and then this is the pawn. So yeah. Do I have yeah, I do have bigger inclusions for this release. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Because they're kind of like I thought that they would be like similar size, but yeah, I put the Hoshi and a DK. So yeah, some one doesn't appear in my albums at all. But yeah, I'll get it for the bigger inclusions. I, I have to be setting up for it. I just don't know where I set up for it. Or if I actually did. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is. I didn't set up for it. Oh well. We're. We're setting up for this one, I guess. Oh yeah, I remember I wanted to put this in like a 6 pocket, but since this one doesn't fit, I don't know what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna be doing with this one, so yeah. Sample, so, so. Then I'll just put Hoshi here for the meantime. Yeah, let's put him on top. Since, yeah, I don't know what my plan for that is. I think you still get stickers, or like the small cards in the special edition. So maybe I'll put those together with this one, like with this set. Yeah, that is actually it for this binder. So we want the next one, which is the NCT binder. So for the NCT binder, we have on this stack, I bought some cards that were like not album cards. I should really work on the album cards to be honest. But yeah, these are fairly cheap, so I thought that you know, why not get them? I'm collecting them anyway, so yeah. I uh, we have Chenlas. Um, character card, so now I just need Xiao Jens to complete the set A for the Sandio set. 
Then for set B, I have Zongwa's set. Uh, like, you know, if you put this together. What the heck? <laughs> this one and this one. Then I have a bigger inclusion for this part. So I finally found Chun. Finally bought Chun's postcard from Universe. So yeah. I think I'm gonna be trying to like, you know, um, for the universe postcards, I'll try to buy a dream one, or maybe just more, since there's like, I have like five postcards right now and I want to like round that off, so might as well just buy two from each unit since I do have um, Jungwoo and Yuta for 1 to 7, Chanla, and then Kun and Shao Chen. So yeah. Next up is for 1 to 7. So, I haven't had any like Chumulak lately. But I bought from, I think, K pop, K pop merch on Shopee and I got this Jumu Pop. So, yeah, I did request for a Jumu Pop and they did deliver. So, yeah. Um, I think I'll add more for, for this one since I do, ha I do want to like have a nine pocket page for um, AO for Jumu. But yeah, I just haven't had that much luck. For the cards, <laughs> the two baddies, bitch of packs. Oh my god! And then, yeah, we're gonna go to the tail page. I did some reorganizing or just like you know, adding pages. So I put a uh, tail for type A, and then I pulled Yuta. I don't really pull Yuta that much, that's why I don't have like a page for him. Yeah, for now, we put in this here. Yeah, so this is the S Mini card I bought. Only bought Jungle's S Mini. Then this is the other card from the K pop merch. Oh, I think it was a Sinara pop. But yeah, that has like similar vibes, so I'm not mad at it. But yeah, when I actually do I have colors here? I don't know what to do with Mark's um, Super M cards. I don't think I bought these. I think I either pulled this or like traded for them. So I'm not sure. I don't have any white sleeves left here. But yeah, um, that's it. I'm gonna move on to Dream. Do I have bigger posters? Oh yeah, I do have bigger posts, bigger things. So yeah, um, with like my K pop merch albums, I did pull all of my biases. So yeah, we have Jungwoo here for Type A, Type B we have Mark, and then the Type A sticker, that Paul Tail. Uh, um, I think like my strategy for this one is gonna be, I'm gonna be putting the stickers at the back of these since I don't really care for the backs of these that much. So yeah, just want to get Jungwoo set to be honest. I don't really care if I don't pull any Mark or Tail or Yuta. Next up for, is for Entity Dream. Yeah, um, I got a Katon for you, Pop, for Candy, the photo book edition. Uh, I did join Fuleng, but unfortunately, I don't think they pulled a lot of like Chanda because I remember paying early. So, yeah, maybe they just didn't pull any Chanda. So, I'm gonna be trying to buy Chanda's card. I think it's not that expensive, so it might be fine. But, yeah, um, for the Digipax, I did finally get my Hechan one, which I got from a trade. I traded an extra Jamin one for it. So yeah, I have the set here. And then for Mark, I, pulled, I got Mark's um, photo book card. So I know I said that I'm not going to be collecting or like keeping Zeno anymore. But like, you know, the minute I announced that, I keep on pulling him. <laughs> So, got his photo book and then his special edition card. So, I know I can trade the Geno one for Chanla, but you know what? I still have, I still need to like buy one of the special edition anyway since I still don't have like one of the colors. I think I don't have the yellow one. So, yeah, hopefully I pull Chanla there. If not, then I'm just gonna be buying. I pulled the Hechan one from the other card. Then, yeah, oh, for this one, I don't think we have bigger inclusions for Dream. Yeah. So let's move on to Wavy. But at least the Wavy progress. So for Wavy, um, this is his Opera card, um, Shaojin's Opera card. Unfortunately, 
Um, I joined Poland for this one. I didn't get Shaojin's Overture card. I got another Hendry, which is my second Hendry now. So hopefully I'll be able to trade, but at this point I kind of just like want to keep all of like my wavy paws. <laughs> but yeah, and then we have some stuff here. I only have three though. Why do I just get like a green card if I have a green card? I don't have a green card here. Yeah, so yeah, this is K-Town. I do have a dupe of this since um, I bought like a bundle on Makara Japan with um, these cards. So yeah. This one I think is this Momo. No, no, this is Senara, I think. And this is Momo. Which one do I want? I kinda want to do like you know hand signs here. Because this one is I think a sound wave one. Yeah, since they have the red background. So yeah. I do want to buy more just to fill in the and pocket page, but we'll see. There's not a lot of people selling the wavy pops in the Philippines. I mean, at least not on Shopee. But yeah, we did some reorganizing here as well. Now, Kun and Yang Yang have their own page now. Yeah, I bought, got this Kun card. It's so cute. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh my god, I didn't push out, but like, you know, that is, this is like one of the cards that I really wanted to get. Like, yeah, pop wise, or like non album card wise. We're doing well with Yang Yang. This is K-Town card. And then this is his um, unboxing event card. So, yeah. Then for the cards, um, I pulled the dupe of this. Then, yeah, because for the Mumu albums, I pulled this set. And then for the pulling ones, I got this set. So, yeah. I'm gonna put this one here. I like that one better. Like I think, since I do have Kun set, might as well just buy Yang Yang's other um, postcard or like try to trade for it so that I'll have like for this concept here then for the other concept in another page. So yeah, um, that's actually it for NCT. So we to the second to the last binder or collection, which is the New East collection. So for the New East collection, we have this textah. This is a mix of like um, cards that I bought from my friend. Um, the first series of in love and also stuff that I bought from Rikari and Rakuma. Yeah. So and I actually actually bought some cards from Shopee Indonesia as well, which I hopefully will be in the next video. But yeah, for this one. I can't believe I have more overcome stuff. But then we have Rens. And I have if the thing goes through, I'll have Minion. So now I'm just moving the group one. A new East W. We have Zhang Hyun. This one is kind of damaged, but yeah. Um, I got a bunch of Zhang Hyun cards from Shabi, so that was great. Then this one is Happily Ever After. Yeah, because I wouldn't be able to get um Zhang Hyun cards from Z Four Zero Seven Love because she is a Zhang Hyun collector. So yeah, this is a red back one. Obviously, like the one that I'm missing is the Bire Zhong Yun. So It's a really cute card, so I get why I'm having like a difficult time getting it. But yeah, um, here and then this one is a green border one. Then we have a Minion card. I bought a lot of Minion cards from J407 of. So yeah, I'm really excited about his solo debut tomorrow. Oh, I pre-ordered my copies, although I don't think I received it as quick as I got my Beko album since I didn't buy any from Shopee since they weren't offering any of like, the pops that I wanted. So yeah, I bought a set from Music Plant that's gonna be delivered to my Korean proxy address, so hopefully I get those quickly. So yeah, um, that is a minion card, then that's all for Happy Day Ever After. So we're going to the table, so we have... Like Ren, which goes here. I really need to work on the table. This is like one of my favorite new East sets. But I just haven't had like the luck of like you know finding these in the wild. Yeah, but I'm back. I didn't remove the things because I know I'll get like confused. Yeah, Min Ren. This is such a cute card though, Magneline. I mean, technically. 
least how um, Macne Lion is like 95 Lion. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, we're so close. Then we have uh, the Nocturne cards. I love the outside ones, especially Duncan since he is um, posing in front of like this like playground. I don't know what it's called to be honest. <laughs> Jungle Gym or something. We have Minhyun. Yeah. So I'm putting like the hand sign ones here and the ones without the hands here. Then we have uh, an RT card for Minky. I do want to complete the um, moon cards though. Another T here. Then we have some romanticized cards. That is for version 3. That is really nice Peko. I really love how Peko looks in this one and also like the version 4 ones. Then we have version 4 Minhyun. And then I did set up for like a pop page for this one since I managed to get two other cards from that pop set. So yeah, I don't I got this from my friend and it has the sharp edges. So I think it's just like you know um the store forgot to round off the edges. <laughs> yeah, we have this um make out minion <laughs> or mom minion and then this blue hair dren. I know where to get um, Zhongyuns in the Philippines when it's kind of expensive so I might just try and get that from like Rahoma or something and Bekums as well and then this is like the big thing for this update I finally am completing the Kino for Nidon Bubble oh my god it's kind of bittersweet though since um, in the next few days it's gonna be really sad on Love Tweet because of like it's the anniversary of the announcement but yeah at least i'm finally closing the nigga bubble chapter today so i have weavers and then we have winter park so i finally got minions for like a very decent price so people were selling it for like 50 dollars so I'm, like, I'm not paying that much for minions um uh inter park card so yeah, and then i got this for my friend as well the action trading cards so yeah it was, it was really fun so yeah hopefully i can find the sleep talking ones and then the showtime ones i know where to find the show one of the showtime cards but yeah um hopefully i find those sets i don't want to work on like a non-album collection non-album cards and then the Jap Japanese um, Defesta card. Um, this was very cheap. And it even came with like the ticket holder, right, the ticket case, and then the lace. This one. This is from the Osaka ATC Hall one. The ticket was January 28th. And the other one is from Feb April 20th. This is from Korea. So yeah, that is actually it for the newest um, collection. So we the last one, which is the shiny collection. So for this shiny binder, we have a stack of cards. This is mostly key. But yeah, um, let's start with the SMC album. Finally finishing. It's different, right? <laughs> the shiny version. Finally found this local. Yeah, and then. This is the palace version of Key, so I just need his ID now and I'll be done with his set, but forward wise I'm done. Then this is the portrait version for Minho. I got it for like very cheap on Yahoo Japan auctions. Then I bought um the membership version again for Oh yeah, I do have this! I forgot. But yeah, I pulled the duplicate on you though. So hopefully I'll be able to trade that for me now since I don't want to buy another copy of that. But yeah, uh, I'm done with key for this one. So, and then for Japanese cards we have some we have a super stock. Oh my god! 
Like it's it's Minho again. So I'm done with Minho's collection for Superstar, but it's it's such a good thing since Superstar in general is just like an expensive era. I don't even really want to like think about Damon's cards. I missed out on two on new cards that were very cheap on Mercari. But yeah. At least I got minerals. And then we yeah, have the killer um, album. So I finally learned from my lesson and bought copies in advance just because yeah, I just didn't want to like, miss out. It's the FOMO of like everyone having like killer stuff and then me not having anything. But yeah, um got this from the Zegan version. It's my favorite set, so I was really glad that I got it. I mean, this is my favorite like styling. And for game pack, got this one. Then for CRT, got this one. And what enough? More than enough, I think. Like, there's the sets. Did Kia have an unboxing event? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't think about that. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I think it, uh, it did. There's only like two stuff though, two things. Yeah. Then this is from the. I think this is the S Mini one. So I'll put this one here. Then we have long haired key for the QR card. And then I did. All the uh, one where he's showing her his hair for the character card. Then we have the sticker. Putting it here just to like you know kind of <laughs> make a pattern like this. And then the QR image card. I actually forgot to remove these, but yeah. I put this in like a specific order already. Okay, so for this one, starting with this concept, yeah, the racer concept, since this was re um, revealed earlier, I love the one with like the pink background. I love the QR album to be honest, since we get so much photo cards from it. Then this one is my favorite concept, obviously. So I'm putting it in the middle. It's so cute, oh my god. This one is like kind of like the night sky concept. And then these are the extras. This is the QR code card, and then this is the image card. I love this. Then yeah, yeah, I bought this. I bought this. I think I bought this. Yeah, yeah, I bought this. I bought this. This is just that's one that I need to buy because apparently you can't make an Olive Young account for the Korean site without like government ID or like a Korean phone number. So I'm gonna have to like ask someone to like buy that for me. And then this one, I have the. I got my last. Or like my remaining um, complete versions and I bought this one I now have two of these so if you have the other one please let me know and if you're in the Philippines yeah let us trade I don't want to buy like, another pop for this I don't know I bought some pops for Minho I just oh it's just so many I'm kind of overwhelmed but yeah then for the K-Town set I forgot what the SM Town Store one looks like. Hopefully it's in this outfit. But actually kinda not since this the quality for these photos suck. But yeah. I do have some of these on the way already, so I'm just waiting for them. And the hot rock spoiler. Yeah. That is it for this binder. Let's move on to the next one, which is the non-album binder. So for the non-album binder we have Season greetings stuff since I did receive my Chinese greetings already. So, so 
the one that does your feet in stages. So yeah. This one I'm putting the SM Town and Store Orange POV set. Since it kinda like goes over the colored background. And like you know, I only have like four here. So yeah. So on you key and minho. Then these are the other cards that came with the um, these are few things since they did like SM finally gave us so much cards for this um year. So the clear cards and then the white pop set and then the other clear cards for this page. Let's remove these. So for this page, I really like this set, especially in and Keys, because they're doing like hand signs and stuff. I wish Onyo would have been doing a hand sign as well. I kind of wish that, you know, um, but I guess they're, but I guess Minho and um, Onyo are pointing at the same direction, but like, as there are other cards in the Keys, so I have to like, <laughs> be different, <laughs> but yeah, then this one, they're like, best decision. They finally included, um, Selfie cards. So we have the PC pack white and then the orange, and then the cereal box cards. This is the white set. So yeah, Shiny gets two sets since there's only three members for the season greetings. And the orange is a concept set, which honestly I'm fine with since the photos are really nice. Love like the Lego flowers. Then we have the cereal box set. The backs of these are so nice. Ten minutes. Yeah, like the nice. It's me, my heart. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. That's actually it for this um binder. Second to the last one, which is the bigger inclusions binder. <laughs> so for the shiny bigger inclusions binder, we only have these. So let's make this quick since. And approaching an hour of filming. <laughs> For the solos. So for this one, for I think this is for the zine version. A key put like two random stuff for every um non-platform version album. That's great. Then I think this the other ones here, yeah. So, need to uh, find that other postcard. Yeah. Here. It's kind of like. It's, yeah, I think it's a jacket card size. Yeah. I mean, I've. I, honestly, I don't know what happened to my <laughs> card stocks or like my index cards. I can't seem to find them. So, I haven't able. If I haven't been able to put them, like fillers. But yeah, and that's it for this binder. So, one the last one, which is the season 3 things bigger in the binder. So, for this one, we're only storing these in the video. Although, I've stored the A4 posters already since they're kind of hard to store. <laughs> yeah, I did buy a new page from Mihaba. Yeah, basically, I got like so much pages from them that I don't need to like buy anymore, especially like the A4 sizes. So, yeah, I, they have like this film strip page. Which goes really well with my collection, and I found like film strip sleeves on Shopee. Yeah. I can link it um, if anyone is interested. But yeah, this, these are very nice sleeves. They're very thick, kind of like as thick as like the Sultan sleeves. These are for photo strips, or like for for cut photos. Okay? Yeah, and then the A4 posters, which I really love, honestly. Now we're starting with Onyo. Yeah, I'm sorry for the glare. Yeah. Each member has four postcards now since there's only three members. We have Key. Yeah. 
I don't know if I need these tapes anymore, but I'm just doing it as like a safety precaution since some of like the old ones have torn, like my first ones. And then I have Minho with like the Lego head. Yeah, and after that, we're ready for 2024 season greetings. That's actually it for this touring video. I had a really fun time touring this time since I was more prepared and I wasn't like stressing on like what to like put the bigger inclusions, like trying to like find pages that would fit them. And yeah, um, I don't think I'll have as much cards for the next month since I'll be buying wavy tickets and um, concert tickets are kind of expensive. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm buying wavy and then also dream. Hopefully, I'll get to score both of those. So yeah, um, that's actually it. If you have any questions regarding my collection or like you know some cards, um, let me know. And if you like what you saw, please do consider um, subscribing, liking, and also commenting on the video. Um, yeah, that is actually it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next one. Bye guys.